Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today is a real user review. We're going to be talking about a pack I've had for going on seven years now. And in that period of time, I've done just a little bit of testing in just about every situation you could imagine. And uh, that pack that we are going to be talking about is the BO Gear Spare Camel. Now, uh, to get this out of the way, BO Gear stands for Brisbane Outdoor Gear, which because they're built in Brisbane, Australia. So this was an Australian made bag. Also, right up top, I paid for this pack with my own money back in 2015. Actually, July 9th, 2015, I paid $311.54 for this pack, and that included $50 of shipping from Australia, and I believe right around $50, at least $50 Australian, probably like 40 some bucks USD for a backpacker upgrade, which included me. I bought a hip belt. This has a removable hip belt that you can take on and off the pack. And it also came with two lashing straps that you can put on, you know, the pals webbing to put just about anything else you want to lash to the front of this bag. And uh, I think I also upgraded to the second set of compression straps. Because if I remember correctly, it only had the top series came on the pack. This was a little bit of an upgrade. Um, I don't remember if, uh, I don't have the complete itemized build for the bag, so I don't remember if that was a, a chargeable upgrade or if Dave would just put them on if you wanted, because Dave was a super cool guy. Now this pack is not only a one of, because it's part of the WTF series, the what the f series, but it is also a one of of a one of because this is a WTF bright and camo. They offered the WTF dark and the WTF light. And what that was is you could see this is like a patchwork because the uh, WTF was like the scraps, the, the scraps from other builds. So they, instead of throwing them away, they would upcycle them into bags and they also had a few other products that had these sharp sacks which are essentially just little velcro top coin pouches but they are incredibly useful and i have them in just about everything i use them for coins i use them for little like jump drives i guitar picks uh business cards uh i have like three or four of them in there they're inside of all of the bags that i, I use uh, on the daily um, but this again is the wtf bright in camo as you can see it's pretty bright now, why am I doing a review of a bag that you can no longer buy new? And I threw up a poll on the old community tab of the YouTube channel, and due to an overwhelming response, if there were 19 votes, a 5% no means one person voted no to the review. You can still get these on the used market. A really good price is around $350, but they generally go for around $425, 4 425 ish 450 It seems like more of the average sale price, and some of the crazy colorways will go for um, a lot more money. Um, like, oh, maybe not crazy like this, um, but uh, like some of the MCB colorways or the uh, Aussie camos, they seem to go for like the 450, a little bit higher range. Uh, personally, this is my unicorn. I talked about this recently right up here, um, but this bag will never be for sale. And if I did, I'd sell it for like two or three grand because this is my personal unicorn. And again, yes, BO Gear went out of business. They shuttered their doors. There will be a link down below for more information on why, if you are interested. And I'm kind of bummed I didn't pick up a couple extra packs when they went out of business because now even the Bullpup, which is the uh, like 20, it's either 20 or 22 liter version of this bag, goes for like 350 bucks. Um, the main difference between this and the Bullpup is the Bullpup does not have this top, there's two pockets here, there's a pocket here and a pocket here. The Bullpup only has the one larger front pocket and on the inside, which we'll get into, there are three little mesh pockets. There is a tiny one that's in this area up top, which is really useful. The Bullpup does not have that, it just has the two larger zip mesh pockets. So. The other reason that uh, I'm talking about the Bullpup now is uh, there is a collaboration going on between BO Gear and uh, Alpha 1.9er. They're actually going to bring back um, a spare camel build. It's a collab, so it's it's a mix between the traditional BO Gear spare camel and um, the Alpha 1.9er spin on it. And uh, they actually address one of the negatives, at least I think they do. There's not much out there on the bag, just a few teaser pictures. But in one of those images, there's a shot that I think addresses one of the negatives of this pack. So with the massive turnout of the poll and the fact that hopefully that collab is gonna come out in the next couple of months, we're gonna do a review of the BO Gear Spare Camel Pack. And as always, we're gonna start with the negatives, move to the neutrals and end on a positive note. 
Now, um, the first negative of this bag is going to be, you don't see a laptop sleeve, do you? That's because this pack doesn't have a laptop sleeve. But you can see this ample water bladder sleeve that has, you know, plenty of hooks to hang a bladder. And what I've done is I just took, it's actually a quite large, it's just a, a padded laptop sleeve, and I just stick it in there, and I, I leave the top unzipped, and I can get my laptop in and out of here. Fairly simple. I just kind of drop my laptop in, pull my laptop out, and this swallows my 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro, and I've used this with a bunch of other computers because I've had this bag since long before I've had my MacBook Pro. So there is no dedicated laptop sleeve and no padded area for it. So the simple solution is to just keep a, a top feeding laptop sleeve right inside this. And it's a 30 liter pack. So this actually is the perfect solution. It works out really, really well, but there is no dedicated sleeve. But in this picture here, it looks like there's going to be a dedicated laptop sleeve in the a 19 er collab version, which is awesome because if you look at this pack, it has a striking resemblance to a GORUCK GR1. Um, I do prefer the slight aesthetic difference of the BO gear. I love that there's two pockets. I love that there's four rows of pals instead of three. Um, you probably, I think I've seen you custom get rid of the uh, reflective tape and you could have had more rows of pals. So that was maybe if, if BO gear was still around, I got another build, I might have the, the uh, uh, reflective strip removed and have a, uh, another row of pals put on and then I would probably just use some uh, reflective materials of some sort like I do on my, my uh, Rocket 3.0 to make myself a little bit more visible. But uh, this solution, if you happen to pick up a used BO gear spare camel, this is a great solution. I mean, there's plenty of options for top loading laptop sleeves. Just drop one right inside the water bladder sleeve. You're fine. The bag is 30 liters. There's plenty of room on the inside. You're not going to be short on space, but the fact that the A19 is going to have that dedicated laptop sleeve in the back, at least I think from the pictures, it looks like it, it's going to be a great addition because you're going to have built in padding on the bag and uh, you don't have to worry about if you have your liquids on the inside, you have a little bit of difference, a little, a separation of compartments. So um, always use a double walled, well sealed container if you're going to keep liquids on the inside of the bag. That way, if it's cold, the container isn't going to sweat and it's not going to leak liquids, not even from spilling, just from sweating on the inside of your bag. But hopefully the uh, that little teaser picture is an actual laptop sleeve. And the only other negative is that you can't buy these bags new anymore from BO Gear because they closed up their shop. I love this pack. Dave was such a great guy. They really worked with their customers. He was easy. He would reach out and reply to the emails himself. So being able to get this pack and get it pretty much built exactly how I wanted it was amazing. And you can't get that anymore. Yeah, you can still get these used, but you're not gonna be able to do a custom build or make put your own touches on it, which kind of sucks because this is such a great bag. Um, yeah, I, I'm just bummed that they closed up their doors. I wish I bought more of their bags. I wish I had money to buy more of their bags and they're going out of business. But you can't get them built to your own spec anymore, which really, really sucks. Now we're going to move into the neutral points. And uh, one of those is it's a neutral because it was kind of a negative, but it's also a positive. One of the reasons I love the bag, but it is how incredibly bright my colorway is. One of the reasons I stopped ED seeing this bag at the time um, was someone that was a manager, they're only my manager for a short period of time, told me that I needed to dress more professional in the office because yes, I do work in an office building and they thought my bag was too loud for the office. So I had to switch to a more tame bag. I don't remember what I switched to at the time, probably something just black, um, which was fine because I, I had, I didn't have as many bags as I have now but I did have other bags. So it was an easy switch to just change out to something different, but I was bummed because the bag is my, fa it's my favorite backpack. It's my unicorn. I love this bag. Um, so it's a neutral point because I was, it is loud, at least my bag, my bag right here. Some of the WTFs that I've seen are definitely loud packs. So I was told, I was told to tone it down, which sucked. 
um, but it's also a positive because I, I love, I absolutely love this colorway. So I put it in that neutral because it's it sucked, but it's also one of my favorite things about the bag. And that's honestly, that's, that's my only neutral point is that my personal build is a little too loud. And uh, it's also one of the reasons that I don't want to use it hiking anymore because I don't want to, I don't want to get this thing ruined in dirtified. BO Gears slogan is dirtified. And I believe the tag on the inside says dirtified worldwide. If I can find the picture, I'll, I'll plop it up on screen. But I took this hiking in Ithaca and um, I put it on a stump. It doesn't look that steep in the picture, but it was a, it was a pretty steep incline. I put it on a stump. I walked down the hill a little bit to take a picture and then the bag, right after I took the picture, the bag, whoop, it took a header and it slid all, not all the way, but it slid a long way down the hill face first. And you can't tell, like you can't tell that this bag slid in the dirt and the rocks and the mud. There is like a little bit of scuffing that you probably can't even see that happened on the uh, reflective strip, but it came almost totally clean. Like all of the bright neon uh, pals is fine. The big orange pop spot uh, on the front, that's fine. Like it looks, this bag looks great. And I've had it for almost seven years now and used this thing as an EDC. I've used this as travel. I've used this for a hiking pack. Um, I use this for, urban exploration videos. I've been in some filthy, disgusting buildings with this pack. And uh, that was another reason I kind of, I stopped using it as much too, because this this thing is so bright. And when you're uh, climbing around an abandoned building, being places you shouldn't be, you don't want to be this bright. So I switched out to a darker black and dark navy backpack for urban exploration because not only did I not want to get this thing covered in some of the things that are in those buildings, I also was very visible in some of those buildings. So I switched out to a tamer version, a tamer backpack for uh, some of those stealthier jobs. Now going into the positives, everything, everything about this bag is a positive. I love it. I love the colorway. I love that Dave worked with me to make the WTF bright and camel colorway that they didn't make before. Uh, I do. I love the front aesthetic of the back. I like that there are four rows of pals as opposed to some of the more attainables, uh, the GR1s or the Ruckers that only have the three rows of pals. I really, really like the four rows and I've used this for not only carabiners, I've had pouches attached to the front of this. Uh, I'll generally when I'm EDCing this, I'll stick a pen, usually a pen and a Sharpie in the front so I can get grab that really easy. And I love this front zip pocket is great because it's not, it's not hard to access the way, like, I have a rain fly in here. It's not hard to access it the way, like, a GR1 is. You can actually get into this. It has a little bit of slack. I don't, it doesn't really have dimension. It doesn't, like, 3D out, but it's sewn right into the seam. But there's a little bit of slack in there, so you can actually access the pouch. When a GR1, that thing, it's you got the slant pocket, so you don't even have the full front panel as a pocket, but it's so tight you can't get into. You can't actually really use that for much. For this, I use this actually for a lot of things. I can probably fit my tablet right in there, no problem. And I can still get in there. Yeah, if you have a pouch on the pals, it does make it a little bit because it's heavier, so it might kind of like force it in. But generally, you can access this pocket very, very easily, and the zipper pulls all work great. And then there is also a second pocket up top. This is the one that's a little bit harder to access, and it's only because there's like a rain fly up here, and it doesn't have as much give because the morale patch is here, and if you put patches on it, it makes it a little bit stiffer. So not only do you have a little bit of a rain fly, but you also have the little bit thicker panel, but it's still easy to access, and I mean, I have some, some little bits of spare paracord. Um, just thrown in here. I, I save the ends for like zipper pulls and stuff like that. I'll use them for zipper pulls. So I usually save the smaller bits for things because uh, it comes in handy. And that's a really nice small little pouch. And I, I've put a lot of different things in there. But again, it's pretty easily accessible. You can still get in there fairly easy. It has that little bit of slack to it. Again, it doesn't have that 3D dimension, but the pouch, the pocket itself has a little bit of slack to it, so you can still get to it no problem. I believe the bag is also lined with a recycled tarp liner, uh, like recycled billboards, if I remember correctly. Again, 
the uh, this bag is almost seven years old, so I think sewn in between is uh, this. I remember this from my syndrome order, which was the year before, 2014, that there's actually recycled billboards, because you could feel there's something in there between the corridor outside and the uh, nylon liner. I believe that is a recycled billboard. So that's also awesome that your waterproofing is a recycled billboard layer that's sewn in between the two layers. So again, not only is this pack upcycled with scraps, they're also upcycling um, remnant materials, billboards that would go to a landfill to help make the bag a little bit more water repellent. Now, if we're going to stay on the outside of the bag, we do have, it's gonna be hard, this is good Velcro. I can't even get it to separate. It's, oh God, it's strong. There's a frame sheet. There's a removable frame sheet in here. It's a little bit thinner. It's a little bit floppier. Um, so if you wanted to put like a Kydex frame sheet or something in here, you can. This is industrial Velcro. So it is, it's hard to, like barely get, it's really, it's really hard to get to, but you can pull this out and it's actually gonna be a fairly, you can probably see the frame sheet down here a little bit. There's your frame sheet, and there's your back padding foam, and you just feed the um, hip belt. God, I couldn't even think of the word hip belt. Go right behind the frame sheet, and the hip belt is thick and padded. Um, I think I know where it is, but I, I just uh, I forgot to look for it because I don't I don't use them, so I forget about hip belts. But you could remove the frame sheet as well and put your own personal frame sheet in here if you want something different. Um, the shoulder straps. There's no load lifters, which I think is another feature. You see them on the uh, A19 collab, but that's not the finalized version. So I think the new, the collab version is also gonna have load lifters for the straps. I did not have a problem with these straps. They are nice and wide, which is hard to see because they're black on the black back panel, but they're pretty wide. So they feel, and they're, they got the S curve to them. They're wide and they feel really, really good on the shoulders. So the straps are actually very, very comfortable. They're not super thick, but they have a lot more padding in them than a lot of other bags that I've been using lately. So they are, and the foam is pretty dense, so they are very, very comfortable to wear. So the straps are great. The frame sheet is hard to get at because it's really strong, durable Velcro, but you can get at it and replace the frame sheet. Pockets on the front are very usable. You can actually use these to put things in. You're not, they're not just for show or to stick like a pair of gloves in there. You can you put stuff in there. Now we move to the inside of the bag and we have this nice setup here. I like we have the one vertical zipper pocket where you can actually kind of just get in. So you can half zip the bag, side sling it, and you can access this. And all of this mesh, it's not stretchy, but it's pleated. So you can easily get your hand in there and get anything you want. And the big pocket is also pleated. The larger horizontal zip pocket is also pleated. So you have your vertical zip and a horizontal zip. And both of them are pleated, so you can actually get your hand in there and you have room to move your hand around to get what you want. It also has this top mesh pocket that I absolutely love. This is a great, it's shallow. But this is a great pocket. I usually keep like a pen, some Sharpies. I like to carry a couple different colored Sharpies and like lip balm and stuff right in here. So I can just unzip the top of my bag and I can grab um, some, some lip balm, which at this time of the year is really great. Because when you strap a pen to the outside of this bag and you're setting it down on a car seat, on a chair, hiking in the woods, setting it down, sometimes it's gonna migrate out and fall. So I always carry an extra pen. I carry my nicer pen on the inside and this is just a quick super easy access pocket i really really like it it's kind of like you have to open the main compartment of the bag but it's kind of like that that quick stash pocket so i have usually i used to keep this the pens and stuff in this front pocket here but i found this was easier this was better for some quicker easier access items i usually keep like my knife in here when i'm using this as a hiker i'll keep my knife in here um, i'll carry usually a smaller pocket knife like a swiss army knife but i'll keep like a sheath knife in here um, don't really need it all the time, but I like to have it and it's quick. It's easy accessible right in here I Like a multi-tool or something in here as well if I don't carry my full tech kit um, So that's like I swapped out my pens and stuff for like tools in this little pouch And I use my this is like my little admin more or less pocket. It's great. I love it There's just something about this tiny little pocket. It just 
It just fits perfectly on the top of the bag. And it was almost like it was an afterthought, but like the best afterthought. I, I, I don't know why I really like this pocket so much. It just came in so useful to me. And I'm very surprised at like, again, it's just a small, tiny pocket on the inside of the bag. And I just found it so incredibly useful. It's probably my most used little pocket on the bag. I love it. And again, like I was saying earlier, the logo is that it doesn't have the laptop sleeve, but it has this ample, amp. I mean, you could probably fit like, geez. I mean, if you can get like a five liter water bladder, you could probably fit that in there, no problem. It'd be heavy, but it's also pleated. So there's lots of expansion in here. The only thing I found is when I took this out, it's so big. I don't even know what this is. It's an envelope for a bill. I must have had, must have threw some bill. I, I'll often throw in any bag, my laptop sleeve, any flat items like bills that I don't want to get crumpled, I'll usually throw them in my laptop sleeve so they, this doesn't happen to them inside my backpack. Because usually the laptop sleeves are a little slimmer so it keeps them from getting crushed, but this sleeve is so big that, um, I mean, it's just an envelope, but it found its way to the bottom and got all crushed up that I had, it's probably been in there for years that just kind of got buried at the bottom underneath the sleeve. So there's plenty of space in here for you to use your own laptop sleeve of choice. And right here is the port for your water bladder and it will come out either side. So you can go left or right, depending on your personal preference. And also while we're right here, it is made out of Cordura nylon, so there's your little Cordura branding. And somewhere on this pack, there's a super secret hidden pocket. So uh, you can stash your valuables where uh, people aren't going to find them. And I will tell you, it's on the inside of the bag, so it is secure, but I'm not gonna tell you where it is. So if you have a BO Gear spare camel, if you're considering trying to find a BO Gear spare camel, and you're unaware, there's a hidden pocket. If you're not sure where it is and you have one, you can't find it, uh, DM me, I won't drop it in the comments, but if you DM me or email me with the email address used in the uh, description box below, I will tell you where it is. But again, I will not put it in the comments. I want you to look for it. I want you to find it. But uh, if you can't and you give up, I will tell you where it's at. I do not know if the uh, collab is gonna have the, the secret hidden pocket. And to be honest, I don't know if the bull pups have them or if every single spare camel has the, the secret hidden pocket, but chances are they, at least the original BO gears do. Um, so go ahead, try to find it. It's on the inside. That's the only tip I'm gonna give you. The inside of the main compartment. So it's not inside one of these, these two exterior pouches. So go ahead and look for it. Uh, if you, it, it's not, super hard to find if you think about it. If you're just looking for it, casually looking in the bag, you will not see it. You're not gonna see it. But if you're actively looking for it, because I just told you there's a secret hidden pocket and you think about it, it's uh, it's not super hard to find, but uh, I challenge you to find the hidden pocket. If you found it, drop a comment down below that you found it or you know where it is, but don't say where it is, don't give it away. So all in all, final summation, it's pretty obvious. I love this backpack. Um, if you can find a spare camel and you have the money to get one, I definitely say grab one of these bags. Mine is, in July, it will be seven years old. It's still, minus some dog hair, because dog hair doesn't come off anything, uh, this bag still looks like it's in great, almost like new condition. And I have beat the hell out of this bag. I am not gentle on my stuff. Uh, I did stop using this in dirty, grungy, abandoned buildings and uh, hiking up and down massive waterfalls and steep trails with it um, because I, I didn't want to ruin it. And I'm glad I did, but I have EDC this thing. I probably EDC this to the office for probably like a straight year, almost every single day before I got told to tone it down, uh, wear some more office friendly clothing. I wore Chuck Taylors too. I also got told to stop wearing my Chuck Taylors. I had to buy shoes. Now I just wear, I just wear fans. I wear fan slip-ons all the time. But at the time, the boss I had told me to stop bring, carrying this backpack and to wear real shoes instead of wearing my Chucks. So it wasn't just the bag. It was my footwear of choice as well. But all in all, I love this pack. It's great. It's super, super durable. 
They are pricey on the secondhand market. I have no clue how much the uh, collab bag is going to be, um, but I'm hoping it's going to be more around that like 250 mark, which is about where these were brand new. I believe the bull pups are around. You know, all the prices on the website were listed in uh, um, Australian. I think it was AUS. I think it's AUS and USD. Um, but I believe it was with shipping. I think there were. I mean, I, I upgraded what I say, $311, but I think it was, yeah, so if you, take, if you knock 50 bucks off for shipping, we're at 260 and then if we knock another, you know, 40 or 50 off for my upgraded, my bundle upgrade, it might have been 40 Australian, so like 30 some dollars USD, USD is worth a little more than the AUS, so yeah, that would put me closer to like just the straight bag was probably closer around the $200 200 USD before shipping just to buy the bag and now the price is doubled on these so I mean you're looking at 400 450 for for a spare camel now they also make the medic pack which is a larger I think like a 35 or 40 liter version it looks the same but it's bigger it's more expandable and it's got I believe those bunch of pals on the inside to do different attachments um, that was like a, a very limited run I think they only made several hundred if even, even hundreds it might even be in a stretch of units of that pack but the BL gear stuff it still sells for a premium because it is awesome gear even used even years old the uh, BL gear stuff it still it still holds its value it's doubled in value this is phenomenal phenomenally made all these things are handmade in uh, a small Australian workshop and I believe even their workshop they went green with their workshop they were very they're very outdoor very environmentally friendly people uh, so Dave if you happen to see this thank you so much for not only my spare camel my syndrome they're phenomenal bags they're my two unicorns I will probably have both of these bags with me for the rest of my life I love them both they're great you did a phenomenal job I'm sorry you closed the doors for BO gear but uh, Hopefully we see more collabs with that A19 coming up in the future because I would love to grab myself a bull pup. Um, yeah, so if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night. And if you have the disposable income and you see one come up for sale, grab it. Grab any BO Gear product. They are awesome. Absolutely love them.